Now today, <laughs> today. All right, so today we got us a Zeke saw. Now, uh, these are very, very good for pruning, uh, cutting down small uh, branches, uh, even uh, saplings up to six inches, <laughs> which would be more like a tree than a sapling. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this open. You can see exactly how you get it <laughs> when you get it. So Zeke Saw has they, they have very good saws and I've had their equipment before and they seem to last and last and last. Okay, so first off, manual. Always have to have the manual <laughs> when your uh, when your uh, blades go dull when it's time to replace parts. It's always good to have the manual so you can order the exact parts you need for the products um they 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 have on the many chainsaws they have a specific chain for the six inch now you got the saw now this is the six inch blade right here on a saw it comes with here it is <laughs> it comes with a four inch bar a four inch chain now th this is going to be a tool only so the reason why they do tool only is because uh if you already have this is dewalt compatible so if you have dewalt tools and you buy these you don't have to waste your money which makes this very budget friendly because you're not buying batteries you're not buying chargers you're buying the tool and that's all you need because you already have the batteries now, the batteries uh, come in different ways. You can buy the generics, which I always buy because I'm very money conscious. <laughs> so, you can get the originals uh, or you can get the generics. I always buy the generics because I don't have a problem with them. So, you can get those, those two ways. Now, it comes with a little oiler, oiler bottle. Now, this is about the size of what's in here. So you fill this up with oil. Uh, you can use motor oil, you can use cutting oil. I would suggest the 30 weight motor oil because it's, the oiler works better for me with the motor oil. And let, let's go over the kit. Okay, you, so you got a Phillips screwdriver, you got some safety glasses, you have The gloves, the non-stick gloves, they got the rubber beads on them, so that's cool. And then you get a hard case to store it in. So the best thing about the electric saws that you put the batteries in, the little cord of saws, is when you're done with them, you clean them up, you put them away a year, two years, anytime, you pull it out and you just use it <laughs> anytime you need it. Uh, you put it away for a week, a month, a year it's it's gonna be ready to go uh, no matter what you don't have to worry about all that and what I usually do when I store these is I'll uh, empty out the oil take that get your oil thing empty it out get all the oil out of it clean it get it ready to store uh, and then you're good to go for next time now I'm going to go over the saw because I like their features now Okay, so on their saws, uh, you don't need a tool to uh, fix the blade. So you know how when they start to get, when you, when you use them a lot, they start to get the slack. Well, you don't need a tool to loosen this up. Now, let's take this apart a little further. So on the inside here, you have the sprocket, you have the chain, and you have the tensioner. Now the tensioner is right there, and to tension it, you gotta use the Phillips screwdriver that comes with it. And, and you tension it back and forth to there. Now, when you change to the different blade, you just take this blade off, like so, and then you pop the new blade on. It's, it's one of the easy peasy, <laughs> lemon squeezy 
Did I say it's early in the morning? It is early in the morning for me. Um, and then they just go back together really easy. Uh, pops in the holes. And then you put this on. Uh, everything's really, really basic, simple. And it makes it... Could have just changed the saw, changed the blade. Uh, and everything is copacetic. Uh, it's got this nice little handle uh, while you're cutting. While you're cutting, um, you don't need to hit your knuckles. Uh, very good knuckle guard. Because if you've done a lot of wood cutting, a lot of pruning, uh, you'll, you'll hit something. <laughs> and this keeps your knuckles protected. It's got a nice grip. I, I like the look of it too. It's got a very good fancy look to it. It looks like a high, well, it feels like a high quality tool. It's It's got the durability. It's got the heavy, uh, heavy duty plastics. It, it's not the cheap plastic. So this is thick plastic. Uh, the oiler bubble. It's got some good spring action. It's got the kickback. Now this keeps all the stuff from flying back at your face, <laughs> but always safety glasses. And the cool thing about it, they give you some tinted ones. Because <laughs> if you're ever out there in the sun, uh, tinted glasses work awesome. So yeah, they got the safety button here. So you can't, can't automatically or can't accidentally pull the trigger and, you know, it's a good safety feature. Uh, good rubber. And it's got a good pattern to it too. Honestly, this has a really good feel. It's not heavy, heavy. You know how when you got a chainsaw, you're out there and you, your arms are tired because, okay, this thing weighs a ton. This don't weigh a ton. Uh, I think it's about, I'd say, at the most, four pounds. So, let's go ahead. Now, this is the DeWalt battery. And this is going to click in, like so. Or... Like I said, I like to use the generic batteries because I can get the bigger batteries uh, for cheaper. <laughs> and yeah, this thing's you got a little get up and go. So take this out. Now everything's nice and tight because it's new. Now um, on the oiler. They have this little bubbler. Take this back off. So once you fill it up, you can either fill it up with this or get get your little funnel. The tanks are really tiny, so so fill it up just about to the bottom of the rim here, and then you're gonna put this back on. Now, the most important thing about these, prime it. The reason why you prime it is you want the oil to get down. To the oiler that's, that's down here and once you do that you'll see a drip coming out and once it starts to drip it's an automatic oiler so you just have to get it to the spot and then it, it'll it'll suck it in by itself it's an automatic oiler so you don't have to worry about that um it doesn't use a lot of oil it uses just enough because these are many chainsaws so this is the six inch and like i said <laughs> this is the four inch Nice little tiny bar. Um, this is for if you're doing, uh, say, thicker uh, rose bushes or saplings, uh, you're going to want to use these because it's just a quicker boop, boop, zip zip, and it, it comes with it. It comes with a chain. Now, there's a certain way to do this, and your cutting pattern is going to be to where if you look at it. The, the sharp points are going to be facing this way. So the, the top, that's, that's how you know the direction of spin. And these are directional. So if you get it on, on the other way, they won't cut. This way they cut. Um, very nice. Everything functions well. And uh... here we go with the, <laughs> with the Zeke saw.
Now that's a nice oak tree. Works good. <laughs> there we go. All right. See you guys next time.